Are you ready to go on an adventure, Rupi? We going on an adventure? <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new video. We are in a different location for the start of this video. You probably will have seen like a little montage to begin with. We actually traveled across, across slightly uh, across down. on the map. Okay. Basically, as Josh says, because he's now a map genius, we have traveled east to get to our unplugged cabin. We actually have, I mean, this is kind of like our back garden because we have really nice bird noises in our back garden, don't we? Josh is talking to the birds. <laughs> we have come away to a unplugged digital detox with the company. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not going to get much done, am I? We have been kindly invited to a cabin in the woods, effectively, in the middle of nowhere. I'm literally looking out to a massive field. A big old field with even more fields behind it. And effectively, the whole point of this cabin is that you have a three or four day, I believe you can book a four day, digital detox break where you come in, you lock your phone in a box, you take out the Nokia, you take out the Polaroid camera, you take out the compass, you take out the map. Josh just passed me our little Nokia. So it's currently, oh, I don't know how to work it. <laughs> I don't know how to work it. I mean, so far we haven't needed it, so that's handy. But this morning, Josh has actually just sat and figured out a route, a route that we're going to do now. Rupert is currently zonked, but he's actually been sleeping this morning, just sat watching at this window, looking at all the birds. We think we had a big kite come over, so we were all sat watching that, which was really, really nice. We had a coffee with a new filter stanley filter that we use and they give you in a manual in the manual they teach you how to do it so that was quite nice and it took some time to make the coffee this morning didn't it oh man. look here he goes here he goes he's ready what's his what? name Ma oh. my name's Hev I'm does ready it. For an adventure Hev does it <laughs> my name's rufus rupert my name's no it can't be rupert my name's i can hear her saying it ralph my name's ralph mm. uh, no i've got my own camera thank you oh look at him getting ready say cheese Cheese. No, you have to do it. <laughs> you have to do it, you silly melon. He's just sorting out, putting the film in the camera. I'm gonna pay. <laughs> Can you stop doing that, please? Rupi, are you ready to go on an adventure? Are we go, oh, no, maybe he's not. He's not ready. So you basically get in this box loads of little things that you might need, or I'm calling someone, clear, no. <laughs> so Josh is sorting out our Polaroid camera that we get to take and you've got a pack of film which is great so we get to use all of them and last night we actually cooked dinner, Josh cooked dinner, I had a shower, it took us a while to figure out how to do the hot water but the actual sign is right on the wall just before you go into the bathroom and we just completely missed it but I had a shower, washed my hair, got into my pyjamas and just got nice and Oh, it's not taking. So yeah, I got oh, I got into my pajamas. Josh cooked us dinner, and it was really lovely. We then got into bed, and I restarted reading 
a court of thorn and roses because I'm struggling with it. I was chatting with Heather last week when we went to Farmhouse and she said she was so surprised that I actually started reading it because she was like, Megs, that's not your kind of book. I was like, I know, but I am loving it. And I don't know if it's where we are. It's changed the way I'm enjoying reading it and I'm actually getting there. I'm getting somewhere with it. So I'm gonna stick it out. Hopefully over the next couple of days, I can finish the book. He's getting irritable. I know he's getting irritable. I'm ready to go. So, I'm done. bags packed, ready for the walk. We're yes. going to aim. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to aim to walk over to a farm shop that is on a list on the cabin manual. It's a list of loads of recommendations. Two local pubs we've been given, haven't we? What are we well, doing? We're going to head southeast. <laughs> 400 clicks. 400 clicks. Before we reach. Before we reach. Pierce's Farm Shop, Operation <laughs> One. Once we get there, we'll extract the target. We'll move up to, um, oh, we'll move up to the Sword Inn Hand Pub, where we shall demolish a pint of Guinness and a <laughs> bacon butty. A bacon back butty. To the <laughs> but I do have to say, this bed and the pillows are very, very comfy. They did say that the linen, the bed linen, is piglet in bed, and I've just just ordered in the sale a dressing gown from Piglet in Bed. Piglet in Bed, Piglet. Piglet in blanket? Oh, I don't know if it's piglet in bed or piglet in blanket, or am I just thinking pigs in blanket because of Christmas? But anyway, we're gonna go off on an adventure now, and <laughs> you guys can come along with us. <laughs> Having no phones is officially driving him insane. Let's go walk, let's go walk, let's get out of the cabin. Might be a little bit windy. No, we are officially lost. We're not lost. <laughs> we're not lost. Not exactly where we are. Josh knows where we are. We were planning to go to the pub. Josh really wanted a fresh pint of Guinness, poured from the draft, didn't you? Yeah, don't wind it up. However, we quickly checked when we left the farm shop, and it closes at half three. What's the time now? Probably something or other, like quarter to four if you can hear me. I bought a few little bits from the farm shop, so we're gonna have some of that when we get back to the cabin. Freshen up, chill, have dinner, go to bed, repeat. Shall we carry on going? Yeah. Walk on. Walk on. Rupert's having an adventure. Right, let's go. With a little uh, sneak peek of some of the goodies we picked up. and Josh are falling asleep next to me. He's still slightly damp because we had to wash him down outside. That was our struggle because it is a little bit muddy, but we're making do, we're making it work. I've made a cup of tea. Josh has his, Josh has had. <laughs> Josh has had his tea and apparently I made it too weak and I've made my tea and mine is a little bit too strong, but it is like loose leaf, but it's all right and is needed, but we're just watching the sunset go down now. Rupert's just collapsed, look. <laughs> oh, it's hiding his head. It didn't take any longer. Did you not want to watch the sunset anymore, Ru? <laughs> Rupert. Ru, what's this? Oh, hello. Bought these. Is that nice? It smells quite strong. Is that nice? We're having this over Dad's feet. Oh, gross. We did a 12 kilometre walk, didn't we? So what's that in miles? Eight. Eight mile walk? Eight mile walk. Give or take. 
give or take, over 17,000 steps, good couple of hours, a big cappuccino, a flat white and some cake later and we've come home with some goodies from the farm shop. I'll show you. I'll show you a couple of bits actually. Are we done with them? It's fire time apparently. When the sun goes down, it's fire time. So I picked up some marshmallows because we want to do them on the fire. We did originally think we were gonna do them on the barbecue outside, but it's a bit too muddy, a bit too wet to go do that. But we don't have any skewers, so we might just try it with our forks, but wait for the heat to die down because it can be quite hot. We've got some eggs. Fire starting, we've got some eggs, we've got some cheer batter, we've got some bacon which is in oh, the no. fridge for in the morning for our breakfast. Oh, no. And what else? Let's pop all this back. All right, Rupee. Some OJ for in the morning, a big bottle of OJ because that watching the sun come up is lovely. And some peanut clusters. You're just checking everything out, aren't you? Checking everything safe. This is um, oh, no. this is security. You know, at the airport, what do they call it? Rupert's security control. Oh, no. That sun's gorgeous now. So pretty, so pretty, Rupee. So pretty. We're gonna we're gonna snack on these tonight, and they actually remind me of um, they're the Belgian chocolate peanut clusters from Joy Pots, and they remind me of the peanut chocolate bark that was on the Virgin Cruise. And Jamie and I loved it. I then got Josh onto it. I can see you. <laughs> But yeah, I love these on the cruise. They were so, so tasty. And I really want to make some at home. Yeah, chocolate bark. That's why you were saying bark. Oh, rupee. Oh God. <laughs> We've got one of our gustos for dinner tonight. I think we're gonna do a pasta linguine. See? Pasta linguine See? and enjoy that. We've just nibbled on some crisps because we've got some crisps as well. But let me put that back in. Go on. I don't, I'm not, I'm not. A, Rupert's just laid behind the camera. Not comedian, I'm Come on. A quick joke. We did the other night, we went to Flatiron very spontaneously with Jamie and Elliot and I saw a trend on TikTok that was, you have to say, my granny's got dirty knickers in different accents. You, mm. you weren't that great, no. were you? No. <laughs> but Elliot was amazing. Jamie was, Jamie was okay. He was good. He nailed oh. some, but Elliot was just, oh my God, his accents were off the scale. But yeah, try saying, my granny's got dirty knickers in a Scottish accent, a Welsh accent, an Irish accent an American accent, an Australian accent. We did it in loads, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Safe to say it was very tough, very, very tough. You all right there, Roops? Daddy gonna put on the fire? You have to stay away from the fire though. Oh, it's dinner time. And then it's dinner time. I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. Oh yeah, that's what I was showing you, our pasta linguine. Last night, actually, we had a burger from one of our gustos. Oh yeah, creamy bacon, mushroom and leek linguine. How delish does that look? So yeah, we're gonna make that. Should take, oh! 25 to 30 minutes, but that's fine because time in here flies by.
for the very first time. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, okay, lovely, lovely. Who's this? Do you want it? Do you want it? Right, ready? Sit. Oh no, he wants to have a look through all my PR parcels. Hi, bud. Good boy. Got this from the farm shop, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Over at the cabin, as you can tell, we're home now. I've got quite a lot of PR parcels to go through. One, two, three, four. And here's Rue's new little toy. What should you call it, Mr. Carrot? Mr. Carrot, go on then, take it there, hello. Take it, good boy, take it. Good boy, Ah. <laughs> so I do look like a little bit of a state. I am going to have a bath tonight after the most lovely, relaxing, chaotic at the same time. Trip. Josh has just sat doing some work on his laptop and I thought we could go through some of the par- oh gosh that one's heavy. Some of the parcels I received. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, what's this first one? I've not done, very careful. Yeah, oh, Rupa has to check. Rupa has to check, doesn't it? Quality control is back. This looks like a basket, a very big basket. Also got my beanie on because I look like a mess. My hair needs a wash. <laughs> Safe to say, we lived off grid, didn't we? We did it, we went off grid for a bit. Oh, let's open this up. What could this be? Oh, 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 it's quite heavy. Gorgeous white wicker basket, which if I can keep this, I'll keep this up in our bathroom. What do you think's in it? Give me a guess. Chutney. Chutney. And lots of wine, way. hopefully. This way around. First, Wow! Oh my goodness! Oh, so, no, this is from Rituals. Oh my goodness! Oh, so it's not chutney? It's not chutney, sorry babe. It's not chutney. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the relaunched The Ritual of Sakura, a new limited edition, The Ritual of Yozakura. I think that's, if I've said that right, love from the Rituals and Chase team. Oh my goodness! Well, first off, this isn't from Rituals, but this looks very nice a magic table lamp with loads of different colors oh that looks nice amazing color changing light how cool is that oh my gosh there's so much in here so we've got the ritual of yozakora oh my goodness the branding the packaging everything about this looks amazing this is hair and body mist shall we have a shall we have a smell That smells beautiful. And do you know what? Recently I've been wanting to get a hair mist. So, oh my gosh, that's lovely. That's so exciting. And we've also got some rich foaming shower gel. Then we've got the Ritual of Sakura. That, I've had this before. I think I've received this for Christmas and I absolutely love the smell of this. Some no bath rich. foam. No I'm having a bath tonight, aren't I, Josh? Yeah, I am going to be using this. This is gorgeous. <gasps> I love rituals and I always, that, oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh, I love them both so much. I also find rituals is really good as gifts. You can never go wrong. What else have we got? Oh, we've got rituals of Yozakora, sake bath milk. Wow. I don't think I've ever used a bath milk before. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. There's so much in here. Is this for, for the bath? Oh no, it's broken. Oh, it's ever so slightly broken. What a shame. I'm sure we can hide that or try fix it. Do you think we can try fix that? Maybe with a bit of glue? Yeah. How gorgeous is that? That normally you can get things like this in TK Maxx. TK Maxx and Home Sense. So that would be really nice in the bathroom. We'll try fix that together. We'll try find some glue and just pop that back together like that. It happens, it's in the post, it's okay. What is this? The world's smallest portable Alexa speaker. Oh my goodness, called Zero Boom Pods. I've never seen that before in my life. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, what size is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There's my phone and that's the speaker. Oh my God, Josh, that's so cool. Oh, we need to figure that out because that'll be nice to take into the bathroom. I can listen to my nearly newlyweds podcast in the bath tonight with my little portable speaker. Oh, we need to pop that on charge. Do you have to pop that on charge or is it battery based? 
Ooh, shimmering body oil. Now this for the summer. We were just talking about holidays in the car on the way home. <laughs> How stunning does that look? Okay, Josh is going to kill me. Do you know what's in the bottom of here? I love the colour of this. You need to get rid of three, Okay. At least. All of a sudden, in the past week, I have about five different dressing grounds. But how gorgeous is that colour? Oh, and it's a towel one as well, John. So this is House of Rituals. Super smooth cotton bathrobe, women in powder pink. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh my God, thank you so much. That's making me so happy. So I'm gonna use this basket upstairs in the bathroom, that'd be amazing, to pop my bath bombs in maybe, or all my products. I can keep all my products in there, that's a good shout. What is next? Oh look, there you go, that's all the leaflet they gave me with everything that they've brought out, introducing the relaunch, the Ritual of Sakura Collection, a new limited edition, the Ritual of Yo Sakura, taking you, taking your self-care routine from day to night. Oh my gosh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So this is from Sanctuary Spa. As you can tell, we are loving, 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 loving all the self-care. Is that the speaker? How good is that quality? This is from Sanctuary Spa and it says Sanctuary Spa invites you for a moment of self-care. They know what I'm about, don't they? Hi Megan, we are delighted to share that Sanctuary Spa is launching into Tesco stores nationwide because I know you can get Sanctuary Spa in boots, so they're now in Tesco. From March, you'll be able to add a little self-care pick-me-up into your shopping basket or trolley. To celebrate, we have sent you over our hero products from the Signature Natural Oils Collection for your most luxurious shower routine with our best love fragrance we hope you enjoy. Oh my goodness! So we've got their Melting Pearls Body Butter in the Signature Natural Oils. This is going to be... So needed tonight. I'm going to have a proper pamper tonight. Oh, let's let's give that a little. Oh, heavenly! If there was smell of vision, that's what's called. that. That is <laughs> smell of vision. <laughs> there needs to be smell of vision. That is the next step. The next step on YouTube, on TV, anything like you know when you're watching an advert and they're cooking dinner or something like that. That would be amazing. Smell of vision, and then you're then you're there. You're really into it. Oh wow, we've got loads. What else have we got? So this is the salt scrub, amazing. And shower oil, more shower oil. Oh my goodness, she is stocked up. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Finally, we have a parcel from Steve Madden. Oh my goodness. This is a proper pinch me moment because when I think I was introduced to Steve Madden when I was at drama school and I really wanted one of their train a pair of their trainers because their shoes and bags are just next level. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <gasps> hey gorgeous, have fun with your new Steve Madden shoes. You will look fabulous wearing them and we can't wait to see you in it, Steve Madden. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. My Steve Madden bag, okay, let's. What ones have we got? Oh, this is so exciting. The story starts here. Let me know if you guys do like a little PR unboxing and I'll save my bits and I can unbox them on camera. I'll save them for the weekly vlogs. What have we got? Oh. Okay, so fun fact, I actually chose these and they are so different for me, especially with how I look right now. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. They are stunning. Okay, so we all know ballet pumps are in at the minute. They are completely and utterly in and I don't own any ballet pumps. And I also don't own any silver shoes. Because I'm more of a gold girl, all over my Pinterest I've seen silver ballet pumps with dressed up outfits, with dressed down outfits, so even with like jeans, they are gorgeous. How amazing and how different are they? Oh my gosh, these are gonna be perfect for the spring summer season. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve Madden. I love that I'm unboxing all of this looking like this. So anyway, we are going to go run some errands quickly and then gonna come back, unpack, have a proper little, another little detox, but at home, I'm gonna have a long bath and relax and just sort of 
oh, just take it all in from the past couple of days. It has just been amazing and I'm just so grateful for opportunities like this and it just wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you guys watching as well. Watching, supporting on Instagram, TikTok, everything. I really, really, really do appreciate it and yeah, I can't wait to continue to keep making lots of fun content. So yeah, let me know if you want to see some more of that and I hope you also enjoyed the unplugged part of this video. It was definitely worth it. I'll leave a link down below if anyone wants to go check it out. Josh and I were already saying on the way home how we want to try out some of their other cabins in the summer because that would just be amazing. It's definitely a good memory made and we've got loads of little Polaroid cameras as well from the trip so right time to tidy up. Got a bit of chaos and off we go. Carry on with the day. <laughs> sound honestly is the most amazing thing leaving London for. Hopefully I don't look too much like a mess. Dressing gown is on, peppermint tea is a brewing. I am obsessed at the minute with my tea pigs peppermint leaves and oh it's a little bit hot, a little bit hot. Gosh makeup is off. I mean I didn't have that much makeup on anyway today running around London but I've got a bit of a headache it always happens if you can hear that that's Rupert chewing on his little cheesy yak stick are you enjoying that and now I've got the door open for the first time watching the sunset go down it's so so beautiful out there and I'm almost so close to getting out the garden furniture cushions but I know that's a little bit too early normally we'll tend to wait after Easter or Easter weekend is when we normally put it out but I'm just so ready to sit outside enjoy my morning coffee enjoy my evening peppermint tea and just sit outside and relax and just watch the sun go down the clocks go back in a couple of weeks as well I think two weeks time from when you guys are watching this but yeah what a busy day in London I had thought I'd give you all a bit of a catch-up I don't know I actually can't remember the last time I spoke to you but I went and got my birthday nails I am so so happy my camera actually died annoyingly and I didn't bring a charger with me so I didn't vlog it however I popped to townhouse in Mayfair just a last minute slot which was amazing and I love them and also, guys, they are my natural nails. And some of you might be sat there thinking, okay, Megs, but I used to be the biggest, biggest nail biter ever for the majority of my life. I'd say in the past two years is when I've really stopped. But sometimes I've had a little bit of a relapse and I've gone back and I've bitten it all down, literally right to the nub. And they've been painful. They just, yeah, they didn't look great. I think it was anxiety ridden and that's where it kind of came from. But I don't really know what the cause of it stopping has been because anxiety is still a little bit rife. However, one thing I was actually talking to the nail tech lady about today was making sure I've got those appointments in and making sure I'm on top of my nail game, constantly oiling my cuticles, hand cream, just giving them a little bit of extra love in because I never used to give them a little bit of extra love in. But yeah, the fact that these are my actual nails and they just look so, honestly, I am so, so proud of them. We went for a classic white French tip because I thought that would go with all of my birthday outfits next week. So hopefully when this vlog goes live on Sunday, a week today, I mean a week today when you're watching this or when it goes live, shall we sit and chat here? Does anyone else when they've been out working all day come back, take your clothes off straight into your dressing gown, hair shoved back, I've got a little claw clip in. I'm gonna have my hair washed day today because it's got gel in, hairspray the lot and ever since we came back from unplugged earlier in the week I just need to give it a good old detox <laughs> a detox for my hair basically finish up with my last little bits of work and yeah just relax because we've got a bit of a busy but sad day tomorrow I've just got a family funeral a little bit further up the country and I mean, gosh, I feel like it's got to that point, like this is the, <laughs> this is now when you see family, is it funerals, birthdays, weddings? And yeah, so I'm not particularly looking forward to that. 
who would um don't really want to think about it too much because it will make me very emotional um but yes obviously i'm going to switch off have some family time tomorrow see the rest of my family which is going to be so so lovely it's unfortunate obviously with the circumstance but it will still be nice to see them nonetheless. And then I don't know what we're up to this weekend. I'm not too sure. I think we might give the house a little bit of a spruce, a little bit of a tidy, maybe a little bit of a declutter. We had a sort of big spring clean the other week, but yeah, I feel like we've still got a few bits that I need to just go, you know what, we don't need that anymore. And then start off the birthday celebrations on Sunday. I think we're gonna go out for dinner with my mum and dad because they're actually away next Easter weekend, so I won't see them over Easter. But we'll be with Josh's family, which will be so, so lovely. And we'll go for dinner, have some cocktails, all that jazz, and that'll be amazing. But I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday, guys. I have no idea. Josh hasn't told me. It's all a bit of a secret. I think he's just not said anything and I feel like I can't really plan much. I'm asking to try plan dinner for all the friends, but yeah, I'm a bit like, what do I do? And the Aries in me wants to take control. She wants to get on board. I wanna know what's happening, but the most I have been able to control and try control is I've actually texted Heather and asked her if she wants to come do a reformer Pilates class with me at 8.30 in the morning on my birthday, because what better way than to start my birthday going in to the grand old age of 26 than to do a reformer Pilates class. But I thought that would be fun. I thought that would be great. So well, hopefully, we'll see what she says. I think she has, oh yeah, she has messaged me. Yeah, okay, perfect. That'll be amazing. Can't believe as well, it is five to six in the evening and the weather, oh guys, I'm so excited for lighter nights. Lighter nights, dinner al fresco. Is that the right thing? Al fresco? Al fresco means outside, right? Hey Siri, what does al fresco mean? Hmm. Especially with the reference to eating in the open air. So yes, dinner al fresco. We will be having a lot of dinner al fresco. We will be eating dinner al fresco, hopefully, when the clocks go back and we can stay outside a little bit longer because I normally have to wait for Josh to come back from work. And the light, by the time he does come home, it's just dark. So those evenings are soon to come and I can't wait. I just feel like spirits get lifted. Everything just gets a little bit more exciting and even just looking out there now that the trees are slowly getting a little bit more green because I normally sit in this little spot in the morning having my morning coffee catching up on socials and stuff and I look outside and I've obviously seen the winter trees at the minute out there but now I can slightly see the green is slowly coming back and it just oh it looks amazing the birds that sound out there with the birds in the morning afternoon evening it doesn't stop and it's so so lovely also I picked up I popped into the White Company on my way home and they had some little Easter bits on sale which I wanted to show you and I'm actually going to go grab tomorrow morning on the dog walk, just going to grab some twigs, going to do a little bit of foraging and do in our kitchen. So I normally have these faux flowers from... Oh my gosh, I can't remember where they're from. But I switched them over seasonally. So I have my spring summer flowers and I have my autumn winter flowers. But I'm going to take them out and I'm actually going to pop these because I thought they were so cute. We've got some gorgeous felt little egg egg decorations. And, and I think these are just sort of like really light polystyrene type eggs. And they just look so nice on the display. And I'm going to try to replicate it. That was my plan. And they were reduced down to... Hopefully they're on the website. If they're on the website, I'll link it. So these ones were 13, 33, and these ones were reduced down to eight pounds from 12. And they were, oh, I don't know what, I don't know what they were to begin with, but let me show you, let me get it out. I just thought they were so, so cute. How sweet are they? I think that is just so, so nice. And then these are the, these ones are the felt ones, which were the ones that caught my eye the most. And we've got quite a few. We've got a plain one, a spotty one, a beige one. And I thought they were so nice. How gorgeous are they? There's the spotty one as well. Just so, so pretty. So I'm going to try to replicate that. Hopefully I will vlog it and I'll pop that in the vlog. But yeah, I just had a lovely, lovely day in London. I met up with my management. I popped into the office. Had a strategy meeting with them, which was just amazing so many exciting things in the pipeline so many ideas and i just can't wait to see it all come into fruition which will just be amazing and the team are just so lovely 
I love going in there and I literally said just sitting around like a board table sitting around a board table I just I said to the girls I went I feel like I'm on The Apprentice I love it so much because obviously I don't get to do that on my normal day-to-day -day job but yeah those little moments are amazing and I saw my manager caught up with her I'm actually catching up with her again next week and she's coming out here because I'm filming a very, very exciting campaign. I'm sure I can tell you, I'm gonna tell you anyway, with Westgate Oxford. So I worked with Westgate last Christmas back, yeah, I think it was November, November, December time. And I worked on a campaign with them and they've asked me to work on another campaign with them, which is just gonna be so fun. And I love it, I love shopping at Westgate. They are literally down the road, literally down the road, they're down the road from me. When you live in the countryside, you say everything's down the road. As a kid growing up in Oxfordshire and living back in Oxfordshire now, it's just seeing Westgate become what it's become is amazing. And little things like that, I remember I'd save my pocket money to go shopping at Westgate or to go shopping in Oxford as a kid. And that was a proper treat, like a proper, proper treat. So to work with them now is a full 360. As a grown woman, oh my God, a proper pinch me moment. And doing something I love as well is amazing. So I will take you along, vlog as much as I can, but I'll save the magic for the campaign when I launch that. Oh my gosh, I also brought this down to show you. I bought Josh and I, I've only, well, I mean, I say, Rupee's got zoomies, Rupee, he's got zoomies, hello. <laughs> I ordered, and I don't normally fall into the Instagram ads that come up on your feed when you're scrolling. I never normally fall down that little trick and down that little rabbit hole, but I've seen this brand, Drowsy, a lot, and I saw one of their Instagram ads pop up, and I think they were doing a 50% sale, and I ordered Josh and I, he's got the navy blue one, a drowsy sleep mask and when I say firstly the quality is amazing it feels amazing on your face it's amazing everything about it as a sleep mask at night is amazing and as someone that struggles to fall asleep I read my Kindle I have my chamomile tea I try to do everything I can to switch off and no joke I put this on last night and I just went I was out like a light and waking up then to the natural light when I took it off this morning was bliss, it was heavenly. So highly recommend looking into a sleep mask, whether it's this one, obviously the satin's amazing for your for your skin as well and your hair. Yeah, highly recommend looking into an eye mask. So I think I have caught you all up with everything. I will catch you all up, hopefully with the birthday vlog next week, if I can get it up in time. It is gonna be a little bit crazy because my birthday's on the 28th. So to get that turned round over Easter, don't hold me to it, but I might upload it on the Monday, Easter Monday. But that's something nice to watch on the Monday. But I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Something a little bit different, coming on a unplugged retreat detox with us. Josh and I are already looking at booking our next one. I have told so many people about it already. Family, friends, everyone. I'm like, you need to go. So I'll leave the link down below for you guys to have a little check out, have a look at the unplugged cabins. We will definitely 110% be going back in the summer because that will just be amazing. Cooking on the barbecue, sitting outside, dinner al fresco. That would just be so, so, so good. So I'll leave all the information below for anyone that wants to go check them out. I hope you enjoyed that part of the vlog and so sorry if this part of the vlog got a little bit a little bit crazy, but yeah, just trying to, I'm just trying to keep going, keep vlogging, see what I can do. And I am just really enjoying this little YouTube hype. So I'm going to ride the wave for as long as I can. But for now, as the sun has officially set, it's still light outside, but the sun isn't there anymore. So the sunset has gone. I will love you and leave you all. I hope you are having the most amazing day wherever you are. And I will see you all in the next one. Mwah! Bye. I just realized I will see you all when I'm a whole year older. <laughs>